Hi everyone, welcome to What The Wednesday. My name's Kate McCarthy and I'm with the Northwest Local Land Services as a Livestock Officer. And today I'm here with Ian Gardner at Wean, which is just near Gunnada. Um, and we're just in his feedlot setup, which he's just not using at the moment, but has done throughout the drought and does as an opportunistic sort of thing. Um, and yeah, so thanks for having us Ian. We're, we're talking about, I guess he's, uh, he's got an auto feeder set up here. Um, just really interesting interested to hear what he has to say about it, um, how it's worked for him and yeah, some things around it. Oh, thanks Kate. Um, yeah, we put these in last year at Christmas, basically mainly to cut, cut the labour out of feeding, um, mainly for the induction, but we can do a full ration on them as well. Um, you can do about 150 a unit on an induction or about 300 on a, on a full ration when they're all eating. Um, Basically, it's all run on batteries and timers, so there's a solar panel charges the battery that then runs, there's a timer here where you can time how often they, they get fed and for how long. Um, then the rest of us just tells you on the solar, there's an SMS unit in there, so if, if you're away or, or, well you can turn them on and off on your phone, but if you're away it can tell you every time it turns on and off, so you make sure it's working. You can also access a camera. Um, to to make sure there's feed in there and see what your lambs are doing. And that's a 300 degree camera. So you can actually see down to the watering point. Um, basically, it, it, it just, the timer just allows you to set it up and not have to manually be here. So once you're going. Yep, and what about, like, yeah, run us through how the feed yeah, so works? We've got a 10 tonne silo that we fill up and then there's a PVC pipe with a centerless auger in it, like the, the poultry sheds use. Um, so it's got a screw in it that comes down and there's holes about every, well, I suppose they're 20 or 30 centimetres apart. And it comes and drops piles out uh, along the whole length of the tray until it gets to this end and there's a sensor at this end. And once that sensor gets covered with grain, it turns the whole system off. Um, when they eat around the sensor, then if it's on a full ration, that'll kick it back into gear, the motor, and fill it all up again. Yeah. Um, as far as the solar goes, like on, on a, we were a bit worried about whether it was gonna run out of battery on a full ration, whether we had to have more battery storage. Mm. We haven't had any issues at all. It hasn't drawn down at all yeah. in this system. And that one in that next pen actually gets covered by that tree for part of the day and yeah. still haven't had an issue, so. What about how many can you fit on this feeding setup? Well, it's 150, 150. in induction and about 300 on a, on a full feed. Yep. Um, obviously like the, the feed's running down from the, the silo there. Yeah, and it gets sucked out by that, by that screw through that auger. Yep. So, yeah, and what have you found is like what's been most useful from having like installing this? Like, what's the value? I, in it? Well, I, I, I think our lambs definitely induct better, yeah. Um, because like uh, through your induction, the first day they might get two feeds that day, second day they might get four, the third day they might get six. By the end, they're getting a feed every, every hour from six o'clock till midnight. Yeah. So they're getting little short feeds. They're going in line under a tree and ruminating throughout the day. Yeah. Instead of coming up here with a bucket yeah. and giving them two a day, maybe three if you're really into it. But most of the time it was only two a day because of what we had time to do. Yeah. Whereas they're getting little short feeds. You're not getting the acidosis in them and you're not getting the rumen upset. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's, definitely, it's definitely a lot better like that. Yeah. Um, the only issue is getting them onto it, which we have with the with the troughs and everything else and yep. it takes a bit of time for the first three days yep. up here walking around and putting dogs around and then pulling the shy feeders off like any other system yep. so yeah no it's really interesting i think like yeah bringing the bringing efficiency into systems like this makes it really valuable and then obviously then you just from here they go over to your other yeah. finishing yeah once they're on here the yep. say the 150 a pen the 300 go back together and go onto the self feeders in the bigger pens yeah uh, no, that's good. Thanks for that, Ian. Oh, no, do you want to start it up? Yeah. Um, so, so there's a there's an alarm associated with it that trains them to yep. to to the sound. Yeah. Um, if we start it up, if we walk down that end, you'll see the where the grain comes out. So, uh, I'll put it. All right. I'm going to come down here, George. You see the grain coming out the yep. 
out the holes here yeah. and it'll work its way up the up the system until it gets to the other end and um, and covers the sensor. No, that guy will turn him off again. So as you can see, yeah, it's just coming in and dropping it out of those little holes um, and then you can just manage it from there. It's really interesting and I think, yeah, really valuable. The sheep are able to get into it quite easily and yeah. Yeah. Um, on the on that setting there, it's on the higher setting. So that's the that's the finisher ration setting. On the induction setting, that PVC is down probably yep. another five centimetres, yep. where it's only a really small pile. Yep. And yeah, and right. it, of course it gets to the end a lot quicker. Yep. And that sensor controls everything down there. When it's on the full ration, as soon as they eat round that sensor, the machine kicks up again. Yep. And so it just keeps the tray full yep. the whole day. It's, and you're saying too, like the there's obviously like um, the ability to collect weight data on these sort of systems as well. Like yeah, the new the newer ones that, that that are coming out now, you can you can do your feed conversions, you can do everything with them now. Yeah. So um, yeah, it's really up there. The other thing he's got going now is is you can dump your water on timers too. You can yep. put a um, a bung in your troughs that goes off that timer and opens the bung to let your water out yep. three and four and five times a day, whatever you want. So. Yep. It's really, um, yeah, they're really good at, got it made easy now. Yeah. Uh, no worries. Well, thanks for that, Ian. No worries. But thanks for listening to What the Wednesday.